Hi guys, welcome back to Beamer Sun Garage. All right, we woke up this morning and I was informed by my son that he was out in the field, the field of dreams yesterday and something about uh, his uh, Roadmaster parts car over here. He went over to get a part off of it for his drive, you know, running a driving Roadmaster, the Bonk one. Uh, and he saw a raccoon in the 66 uh, light blue Bonneville. So <laughs> I put my shoes on, not really believing it, and went over there and looked inside the car just like he did. And yep, there was a raccoon in the car. So rather than have a confrontation with this thing uh, and happen to, you know, kill it or something or you know, deal with it. I opened up the door on the opposite side. He was on the passenger. You know, he was on the driver's side. And I uh, somehow scared him to the passenger side. And I was able to go to the driver's side and open the driver's door. It's the only door opens on the car. And when I made my way back to the passenger side, looked in the window, he was gone. So we got rid of uh, one raccoon creature <laughs> critter out of the car so we're going over to see if uh he returned with the door open i don't know i'd imagine he probably didn't uh stick around in that car but my son reminded me that apparently there's a hole in the trunk so my son thinks he got in a car coming up through the trunk so here we go here's the light blue bonneville Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't remember all them leaves in the back seat. All that stuff was cleared out. Yeah, he's been living in there. Yeah, I don't remember. It looks like he's been eating whatever he could get a hold of. So let's put you on the apparatus and let's open the trunk and find out if there's a whole family living in it or if he's still there. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, I don't relish this idea, but it was something that's going to be done. Can I even do it? Huh. Having some difficulty here. Usually I can get the screwdriver right in there. I know we don't have any trouble. Well, well, well. Can't even feel the slot. There should be a slot. Huh. That's weird. There it is. Is it? it? Yeah, that's it. He come up through the floor right there in that hole somehow the deck lid's just sitting on it it's not even latched so yeah i don't know how he uh oh there it is there's the hole he came up through right there hello that's the hole he came up through so we're going to have to block that hole off so he can't uh, keep doing that. I should take care of our little creature. Can he get in over there? Nah. Uh -uh. Oh. 
That deck lid is just sitting on there. It's not even, the hinges aren't bolted. There's no latch, so. <coughs> we took care of our little problem. Moved the tire over and one raccoon uh, handled. Here we go. Our uh, convertible is looking really rough. You know, our tarps run all the heck off of it. And it's got rained in it. Ah, oh, hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. He may be hanging out over here now. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. So yeah, we got to, we got to do something with this. It's a nightmare. Parts car that just, uh, it was a, not a good idea to begin with. <laughs> it really wasn't. Uh, somehow the, the front end got taken off of it by Doug Hamilton. Spindles, control arms. What a nightmare. So it won't roll. Um, even if it did roll, uh, we'd have to uh, do something with the ignition because you couldn't turn it. No key. But we actually got a title on it. <laughs> Finally got the title for this car. So it was a huge endeavor to get the title for this car. But unfortunately... Uh, it's a super low mild car. It's just really rough. All right, guys. So, let's go back in the field of dreams over here. There's a few cars we left out on part three that we're going to pick up here. So, here's our 1971 two door Skylark with super low miles on that car. And it's not for sale either. It's a parts car for the other ones. Or we may build this one. The paperwork's messed up. We do have paperwork, but it's messed up. Meaning that somebody signed it and didn't switch over their name. So we could get that straightened out, I'm sure. Or we could get a loophole title for it. It's got Z28 wheels on it. Pretty cool. Super low miles. And you might as well just leave your trailer at home because I won't sell this one. This is a, a great car with low, low miles, 350, 37,000 miles, 37,000 right there. Read it and weep. Yeah, that's low miles. No raccoons in that one. <laughs> Out of all the cars... Uh, they had to get it, the, the coon had to get into that one. I mean, he could have got into the, the Buick there. He's got a window missing, windshield. He could have got the Cadillac. But he picked my Bonneville, so. That Bonneville's rough. But we have another one in the front field that we showed. That's the parts car for that one. So it's weird how we, you know, we get these Cadillacs. Like this one and the Coupe de Ville. And then we get a parts car. You know, or we, you know, we get one and then another one spawns just like it, like the video game. It's really strange. Our next car is a 1966 uh, Dodge Charger. And this car came out of Pennsylvania County, Kentucky. And I went and got this car myself. And I went, it was a huge endeavor. And I went through a lot of, with this car. It was originally uh, my car. Me and my son bought it. We put our money together and we bought it. It was my car. It was in my name. And then I gave it to him because he had a lot more invested in it. And um, he gave me, oh, he gave me that Skylark there uh, for it. And that other Skylark over there, the 72, the, the one with the 354 barrel. And that's his car. It's a cool car. Here's this concrete I keep talking about that the car is sitting on. It's a concrete pad. And Rondo's van's over here. High topper. GMC Safari. And it's on concrete too. So there was a mobile home sitting here at one time. The whole mobile home was sitting right here. Then they had a deck off the mobile home over here. And there's some posts over here by the trees. 
Let's grow it up. Yeah, so the mobile home was here. Then they had a deck right here. And then there was, uh, and it still is, a septic tank that the mobile home was piped into. And there's a septic tank. Pretty cool. Still got it. And there's a water line. There's a water line hook. It's still got water over here. There's a meter out front. It's turned off, but I could have it turned back on once I get this hooked to something. So there's a Rondo van, another Rondo van. There's my 92 Ford E250, uh, my junk van. <laughs> I used to haul junk with. Now it's turned into the motor van, 351 Windsor, titled everything. It's just uh, for some reason they brought it over here and it don't run anymore. As soon as I got it over here. This might be some kind of Indian burial ground or some kind of Indian <laughs> haunted ground. And it comes over here, usually don't run after it's been sitting over here. Then there's another Boatel Riviera here, 1973. We got three of them. There's a parts car. And so, no title, no paperwork, strictly parts. It's got the 455, 400 turbo, and that's why we bought it. And it does have some Buick, uh, and looks like some Pontiac wheels on it. Well, wow, so I don't think I found the other Pontiac rally you wanted. Yep, there it is right there, son. Sure is. There's your fifth one. Mm, I believe that's the one you wanted, son. You got three of them, and now we got four. That's cool. So we got it, and of course, it's got the Buick rallies on it, too. There's the Buick rally. That's a Pontiac wheel. That's the wrong wheel. But I've been searching for a wheel like that, and I found it. We got three of them. They're all 15 inch. There's a the Buick rally. And here's a standard. Yeah, standard rim. Wow, well, cool. So there's another one, and we got three of these, and we would probably sell them. But you'd have to understand, this is a parts car. And if we sold it, we'd have to probably uh, sell the one that has the actual title. And this, you could take parts off of it and leave it. Couldn't take it. We wouldn't let you take it because we don't want any trouble. No, we don't want no trouble with the law. We had that already, uh. Uh, my brother caused a big ruckus out here. He lied to the police. And he gave a police officer a blowy and lied to him. And told him a bunch of lies. And we ended up getting in trouble with the law, went to court. They threw it out. But meanwhile, I spent five days in the pokey. Yeah, Claremont County Hilton is what they call it. It's Claremont County Jail. And what they do to them people there is a crime. It should be a crime. All uh, them people should go to jail for what they've done to them people. They feed them water. That's sewage water. They cook the food in sewage water. And you can't eat it. You can't stand the smell of the food or the water. And what they do to them people is, uh, should be a crime. So, Next car is a 65 Mustang. Six owner. One owner belonged to a little old lady. Passed away. Her grandson got it. Rick Woodruff. I got it from him. 77,000 original miles. It's a keeper. It's not for sale. We won't sell this car. Uh, next car is one of the three two doors we have. Buick Skylark Custom. 455 belongs to my son. He may sell it, but it's going to cost you a pretty penny for that car. I guarantee you. And then it's a parts car Cadillac. And there's the third two door. We showed, saw the first one over there. Here's the here, That's my baby. 72 custom Skylark, 354 barrel. Yeah, my son was checking it out. It's got rear defroster, tilt wheel. It's got a lot of options, this car does. And that's my baby, so I won't sell it. But next car is a 1966 Bonneville. Another one, we got three of them. It's my son's car. Um, don't think he'll sell this one. We were just talking about it last night. We're going to take this thing out and start driving it. It's got a truck cap on it upside down, a tarp on it, trying to keep the water out of it. And we need to check this out. There's a bunch of water laying in this truck liner. <laughs> it's got it bungee corded down. <laughs> it's holding water, so that means it's not getting in the car. But you know, we need to get this tarp. Oh, the tarp's just disintegrating, son. Look at that. You have to buy a tarp for it, son. New one. 
They has old tarps disintegrating. Another car is a, now we'll sell these. We got two of these. We got a white one over there and we got a black one. 94 sheriff's car. Uh, Claremont County's uh, sheriff, I believe it was Rosenberg's personal uh, car he drove on the job. And this car ran good. It had a posi rear end. It had some stuff done to it that's not done to your average Crown Bic. And no, I won't sell it. The price of these cars, the parts of these cars, it went way up. So it, no. I mean, if I did sell it, it would cost you a lot. So next car is Christine. And Christine is not for sale. That's my baby. It's 1970 ball, or excuse me. 1970 Fastback Mustang. It's got boss stripes on it. It's not a boss. Does have the shaker. 351 Cleveland Tuber originally four speed. It, the engine was gone when I bought it. It's got a 302, 1970 302 two barrel motor in it right now that I have uh, put a four barrel on it. A little bigger cam. I rebuilt it. It's one of the only engines here that I rebuilt by hand. So it's been completely overhauled. I mean, we're talking crankshaft we're talking bearings we're talking rings it's got chrome rings in it um this whole engine was completely tore down and rebuilt by me i sent the block out i had machine work done basically just honed the cylinders i used the old slugs back in meaning i used the old pistons that could work and there's that car big red nah and there you are part through or part four of bring a trailer guys in the books and the raccoon in the bonneville See you in the next one. Check out my friends Actions Auto Parts. <coughs> Jamie Phillips. He's getting close to line 100, guys. Hit, go to his channel. Subscribe, please, please. Hit the bell button down there for him, too. So you get alerted on all his videos. He's in the, close to 900. Like I said, we're trying to get him to 1,000. And then we're going to try to get him uh, monetized for the years out. Also, Scott Speed Shop. And we'll see you in the next one. There's that other Bonneville. There's three of them. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.